Good morning. How's it going? It's Saturday morning and it's uh, just a little bit after seven. I'm getting my day started. I'm out here again listening to the crickets and listening to the morning dove. And I hear an airplane and uh, Frankfurt is a quiet town. I like that. So I thought I'd come in and talk to you and give you some listening practice. <sighs> Yesterday was a very trying day. At about six o'clock in the morning, the phone rang and it was my daughter. And she said, I've had an accident. And it's that message you never want to get. As a parent, you never want to get this. And I said, tell me where you are and we'll be right there. And she, as the story goes, here she is. She, this month will be 24 and she's pregnant for her second child, my second grandson. And she made one turn and the second turn she was driving too fast. She didn't, she wasn't used to the road. She was going too fast and went off of the road and hit a tree. Um, now that I've seen the car, I am amazed that she lived and she had small injuries. She had bruises, bruises on three fingers, bruise hemodoma, hemodoma. She had a burn, gemol, on her wrist, also, because when the airbag came out, it came so quickly, I think it burned her wrist and she had a scrape, Ella Hanyo, she scraped her knee, Joel, that's it. I am thankful beyond words. I, I feel very blessed today because my daughter is still alive. My grandson's mother is still alive. I'm very thankful. So, yeah, every, every day's a good day, but this has a little extra because I get to relive the events of yesterday and it was an amazing day. It was scary and horrible and amazing. The dogs are freaking out. Again, that's what they do. So, anyway, I'm here to give you some listening practice. And I thought I'd talk just a little bit more about that. You you guys say crash more often than, than you say wreck. It seems that in America we talk about having a wreck more often. W-R-E-C-K. I'm going nuts. So she had a wreck yesterday. She crashed her car. She was wearing a seat belt to keep her safe and keep her in the car. She's pregnant, so that made things even more dangerous, even more risky. But she and the baby seem to be fine. Thank God. And other things I was thinking about talked about the burn and the bruise and the scrape. Um, yeah, it was an amazing, amazing event, and I'm glad that she's okay. So, moving on, we're talking about past tense endings today. We're using voted and started. In both of those words, the ed ending is going to make a separate syllable, because after the verb ends in a t sound, it has to have a separate syllable. Voted and started. Practice those words, and if you want to be evaluated, come to Amiga Americana Inicianche, record your voice, and I will evaluate you, and be thankful for your day. Make it a good one. I'll see you next time.